Question 19. Consider the following pseudocode in which all variables are integers and m is greater than or equal to 1. The pseudocode, one set of pseudocode is in black here and the other set of pseudocode is in blue here. Uh, this says the following pseudocode, this blue pseudocode, is intended to produce the same output as this black pseudocode here. So the problem we had to figure out is what should be the initial value and what should be the condition to produce the same result here. So basically here we have the, the initial condition is i equals 1 and the uh, test, the test condition basically goes from 1 to m. So basically this loop executes m times and starts with the sum, the sum starts off at 0 and it increases by i until it gets to, uh, to m. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all, you know, all, all those things, okay? Uh, <clears throat> now, let's take a look here at this one. If uh, we, we can basically eliminate some of these answers by taking a look at how many times it sums it. If the initial, if the initial uh, uh, value, say, is 0, and i goes to, um, from, if the condition is from i is less than m minus 1, then when it increments i, it's going to keep on looping until it gets to m minus 2. So we're going from 0 to m minus 2. That's only m minus 1 iterations. We need to have m iterations. So this can't be the answer. We need to, we need to go through this, this thing m times. b, if we start off at 0, and we go to i equals i is less than m, we go from 0 to m minus 1. That is m times, so that's possibly the correct answer. Now, the question is, would, be, would it be um, true that the sum would be correct? So we've got to start from 1 to m. We're going to sum this thing. Now, if we start off at 0, what happens is i gets i plus 1, so the sum gets sum plus i, so i is 1. And, uh, and, and it loops the, the correct number of times. So this one looks like it's the correct answer here. But let's check out the other ones here. If, um, if we go to 0 to m plus 1, 0 to m plus 1 is, is m plus 1 uh, iterations. It's the wrong number of iterations, so this can't be right. You can only iterate m times. Um, d, we go from 1 to i uh, is less than m, so here we're going to go from 1 to m, uh, which is to m minus 1, right, because we're not going to go all the way to m. So that's not enough iterations, right? This is only m. 1 to m minus 1 is just m minus 1 iterations. We need to have m iterations. So that's not correct. And then here, e goes from 1 to, um, to m plus 1. And, uh, well, it actually goes from 1 to m because um, we, don't, we don't go all the way to m plus 1, so it goes from 1 to m. That's, look, that's a good possibility there because it's the right number of iterations. Now let's check out the sum. If we start out at 1 in the new code, then i gets to i plus 1, 2. So the very first, the sum starts out at uh, I, I equals 2. So that, that one can't be right for that reason because the sum doesn't start out at the same amount or end at the same amount. So the answer is clearly B. The answer for question 19 is B.